Today's announcement is about a Kepler discovery, uh, one which takes us on the path towards understanding uh, how many, star, how many planets there are around other uh, stars and whether they are small enough to be rocky and whether any of them might be habitable and have liquid water on them. This is a gradual path that Kepler has been taking us down and today's exciting announcement takes us even closer to that goal of finding uh, habitable planets around other stars. Today I'd like to announce these two planets some is larger than the Earth, in the habitable zone of a single star. The planet in the center there uh, uh, is a little bit bigger than the Earth, 1.4 times the size of the Earth. This is an animation we can see us are flying through past the uh, two outer planets, and then we come to the inner planets. There are three inner planets, one of which is the size of Mars. We look at the, uh, the star itself. That star is two-thirds the size of the Sun. It's about uh, one-fifth as luminous as the Sun but it's older than the sun. So if you land on the other one, don't take off your spacesuit because it's not very good for us to breathe more than one bar or like a lot of CO2. We'll have to get some masks to do that. While the other one potentially is going to be very hot and muggy but doesn't need that kind of CO2. Again, we don't know how these worlds could at all develop, but if you want to write a science fiction story and you land on both, at least we're sure that on F you don't want to take your mask thingy off. Studies of what the habitable zone is are ongoing, and I think one of the most exciting things is this is no longer an academic theoretical exercise because we are finding planets that really fit into these models, can really test new, our new understandings of what's going on. I think it's very exciting. There is probably this planet is closer to a Venus than an Earth, but we're not sure. It has an orbital period between Venus and Earth. It's longer than Venus and it's around a cooler star, slightly, but still very similar to the sun.